Welcome to Company Showcase, an advertising feature on HowStreet.com. I'm Jim Goddard. I'm speaking with Jim Pettit, CEO and President of Avon Resources. Happy New Year, Jim. Thank you very much. Same to you. And what's going to be happen, happening with Avon Resources going into the new year? Well, um, the new year brings us a whole new life up there. Uh, as people have, should remember, uh, we've raised a lot of money last season. We had a lot of success early on in the season. Very high grades, uh, expanded the north boundary zone, and, uh, you know, maybe 100 meters by 100 meters, that sort of thing. Um, there's lots of good high-grade hits there. And uh, we went out and raised $7 million very quickly. We don't really need to do a financing this year, which puts us in a really good position. And so going forward right now, we're busy writing reports, assessment reports, et cetera, et cetera, and uh, modeling the whole program from 2018. Um, that'll give us a pretty good indication of uh, what to do with the area we concentrated on this year. I think probably what will come out of it is we're going to have room to drill to depth for a lot of the, in that area, the north boundary zone. Um, we did find some pretty good joy at the uh, south boundary zone, albeit we might have been a couple of degrees off of hitting something, you know, way more prominent than what we did. Uh, but what we do like is there was a tremendous amount of um, size to that, to those holes we drilled there. There was, you know, a lot of broad lower grade with some higher grade in it. And that to us is indicating something. So we're, you know, we want to get back in there. Um, plus we've got a number of other projects that are being prioritized right now. So, you know, going forward, we've got our work cut out for us. Um, there are other areas on the property that we want to have a look at. So I think our crew this year is going to be a little little larger than the, what we had because we'll be doing exploratory work as well and, and site prep as well as drilling. We've got more drilling to do where we are. That that boundary zone geochem anomaly is very large. It's, you know, four kilometers by two kilometers wide. And we've only touched a small part of it. And part of that was because we only had it... Um, permits uh, for nine specific pad locations and the pad locations is where you put the drill on the pad so you you know you're limited to where those pads are um, we have now received the amended version of our our uh, pad location story so we've got 40 new pad locations to work with so you know it'll be far more adventurous this coming season where we can actually move around the targets that we've identified from a few years ago and exactly where are these pads set up well we, the existing pads were right in the north boundary zone with the exception of two that were in the south boundary um, and that was based on the geochemical anomaly and some ground proofing you know the north boundary was really you know we rock sampling that we hit 50 gram gold samples off of so we drilled there that's a good start and, you know, and consequently, we've drilled in that immediate area 40-plus um, holes, Forty, I think it was 45 at the end of the, this season. Um, so we've pretty much peppered that area, but then again, limited because of the uh, the pad locations in that area. They only allow us to get at certain angles, and, and that makes a big difference in this type of uh, geologic environment. So there's, you know, a few more areas there we might want to hit on, but there are lots more that we're going to move to and put pads uh, on there, and that's that's in the works. Uh, the the geology te- the geologic team is working on, you know, where to get the pads located, that sort of thing. But the good news is it's uh, it's all permitted, and the uh, the archaeological studies have all been done. And all this action is happening in BC's Golden Triangle. Yes, this is all at the Forest Curb, our Forest Curb project, which is the, you know, our flagship project in the Golden Triangle. Um, we've also got the, the Chico project in Saskatchewan, which I'm, you know, I'm optimistically or I'm waiting for a sign off from the natives, um, cause I don't want to go through what I did last year, uh, you know, get there set up and now they don't want us there. So to avoid a confrontation, uh, you know, I ate a couple hundred thousand dollars and, uh, we didn't do anything. Do I want to do that again? Not without something signed by them. Um, so that could happen. Um, I am 
you know, cautiously optimistic, but our Justin project is looking really good. We just put a news release out uh, yesterday, Monday, and it's it's um, basically looking like we've got a new zone of higher grade, different type of geology than the POW zone that we discovered in 2012, which is an intrusion-related gold system where you would normally find large tonnage, lower grade. But what we've got now, you know, from what we've discovered, is something very much like the three aces uh, that Golden Predator has. And it's more of an orogenic um, geologic profile. Large veins, uh, coarse gold, that sort of thing. So uh, if it overprints the uh, with the, uh, the uh, POW zone, then we've got something where, you know, you can maybe develop a larger scale, lower grade with a, uh, with the, uh, an added addition of having the high grade zone very close to it. For people looking for more information, where can they go and where are you traded? Well, we're traded on TSX Venture and, uh, you can go to avonresources.com and get all the information. It's a good website. Lots of information there. Jim, thanks a lot for the update. You bet. I've been speaking with Jim Pettit, CEO and President of Abin Resources. I'm Jim Goddard. Our conversation took place on January 15th. Comments made on Company Showcase are an expression of opinion only and should not be construed in any manner whatsoever as recommendations to buy or sell any financial instrument at any time. Archived online at HowStreet.com. Company Showcase is a production of How Street Media Incorporated.